This is me before I decided to grow my quads. And this is me now. After years of struggling to grow my quads, I finally feel like I've mastered leg days. If you're like me a couple years ago and you feel lost, I got you. Because today, I'm gonna take you through my top exercises to grow your quads and become a quad queen. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be going through my quad focused leg day. As you guys know, I have been dwindling down the, am the amount of like quad focused things that I'm doing because I've been trying to get my glutes and my hamstrings to catch up. So now that we're getting closer to an actual show date, I'm starting to implement them back in uh, now so that we can put some size back on them as well. So we're gonna go through over my favorite exercises so make sure you're subscribed hit the thumbs up button if you like it so I'm gonna take my shoes off because these aren't as flat they curve up I didn't wear my lifting shoes today because I still have cardio afterwards so I've been wearing these on all my workouts because when I do cardio in my lifting shoes it hurts like nobody's business so if I have an exercise where I need to be more flat I'm just gonna go barefoot and use my feet so I won't put my knee sleeves on until we go a little bit heavier, but first I'm just gonna start really light, 25 on each side, just get the blood flowing and get used to being in the movement and sinking into the movement, and then we'll go heavier. Nice. You doing okay? Today is my high carb day. If you guys are in my VIP membership on YouTube, you already know this, but Saturdays are my high carb days. Uh, if you're not in the VIP, make sure you go to the VIP because there's an additional <laughs> weekly vlog posted on that channel that nobody else sees every Wednesday at 12 p.m. CST. But today's my high carb day, so I've already had more carbs this morning than I typically do on like the entire day of my other days, so I am planning on having more strength and praying to the quad gods that that's the case. We need some protection for our knees. I'm basically just gonna wear these until we're done with today's workout. If you don't have knee sleeves, and you don't necessarily know like the purpose of them, it's to protect your knees. I mean, there's so much that we do when we're training, so much load that we're putting on ourselves and our joints. So these definitely help a lot. So I make sure that I just keep them in my gym bag so that I always have them. Cause you never know when you're gonna wanna do a squoot. I also got 24 inch extensions and it's a lot. Last warm up set and then we're going into three sets, three sets of, I think it's six, hold on. Let me pull up my training program. Three sets of six. Three sets of six. So I'm keeping the reps lower so that I can go heavier. Last week I did, I think it was, <laughs> I don't like keeping my phone on me because I don't want to be distracted. Uh, last week I did 285 pounds for three sets of six, so let's see. Ooh. All right, how much is 280? 45, 45, and you said 135 plus 100 to 235. <laughs> oh my God, that was impressive. <laughs> so that means I need to add a, at least another 25. There's this guy over there. Every time I see him, he's got like insane quads. He always wears short shorts and his quads are huge. And I just am like, why well, we gotta outdo me like that? I'm already sweating and I literally haven't done anything. It's probably because I'm wearing a sweater, Julia. Good. Uh, uh, good breath, good breath. Four, four, four. You got it, come on. Come on. Uh, Get up, girl. Uh. Yeah. 
Oh, I almost fell backwards. <sighs> Thank you. So basically what he was saying was in the middle of it, I don't know if you could hear him, but he said to brace. So I forgot to like push against my, uh, what is this called? Belt, abdominals. I forgot to brace my core. So I was feeling like, whew. So good thing we did that. Okay, so when I'm doing compound movements like this, this is the exercise that I rest the longest. So I'm talking about minimum of two minutes, like anywhere between two and five, because you're using so much of your body and there's a lot of physical exertion that's going on. So if we want to recover the best of our ability, take a longer rest period. So we're going to do that before we go again. I have my handsome, hunky Viking man here to help me with my set. <laughs> she doesn't need help, but I'm gonna help. <laughs> you just, I want you for just emotional support. Your sexy face will make me lift more. I must spit that out. <laughs> I was about to. I got problems. Squat days make me the Lulu. You know what? This is a secret. Okay, it's just between me and you. I'm thinking about making a shirt. I don't even want to say it. That says, leg days make me the Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> Leg days make me Delulu. Would you buy it? Would you buy it? Comment below. Comment below. Also subscribe. Yes. Also subscribe. Also subscribe. I'm over here dying, not bracing my stomach like a ding ding. Least you could do is subscribe. I added five pounds on each side because even though it's five pounds, now this is 295 instead of 285 which 295 is closer, than 300, closer to 300, so that's just simple math, you know? Got it. start with four to warm up. I know that last week I was the, sh I felt the strongest that I have in a long time because it was a high carb day last Saturday as well. And I was able to do eight plates on each side plus a 25. I don't know the math of that, but I have it written down on my phone. So we're gonna do just a little warm up with four plates and then we'll start moving up. Three sets of 10. Last week I did yeah, sometimes, <laughs> because I'm so bad at mathing, I literally, when I m write down how much weight I do, I literally write it out like eight plates on each side plus a 25, look. Oh, hold up. That's literally how I do it. Unless it says what the number is on the machine, I just write the plates. <laughs> I was doing the four plates on each side and my legs were feeling like very shaky. So I'm not gonna immediately go to the eight plates plus the 25 that I did last week. I'm gonna start with seven and see how strong I feel doing that. And then potentially the next two sets, then we'll add some more. 10 reps. <laughs> we're staying there. We're staying there. Last week, I moved that like butter. This week, it's a little, it's a little hard. Maybe if I got in three meals before my training session, it would have been better, but I only got two in, so it's okay. Some weeks are gonna be stronger than others. This has been a really busy week for me. I've uh, done what I always do, overload myself with work because I enjoy working and being busy. And then sometimes other themes, things will suffer, you know, maybe not enough sleep. 
So it's okay. This is what we'll do. <sighs> I'm resting in between these about two minutes. Oh, this feels nice. Look at this. This was put here just to stretch my quad. Oh, okay. 10 reps again. I'm a little sad that it's only seven plates, but that's okay. We did it. Still have one more. I was really like, I can't, I was really like, I can't do this. I was at six and I was like, I can't, I can't, I just can't do it. But my body just kept going. <laughs> Sometimes you check out of your brain and check into your body and your body does things that your brain doesn't know it's doing. My legs hurt so bad. After those two exercises, I'm usually always just like, like, yeah. Okay, moving on to leg extension. We're doing three sets of 10 with a drop set. So after the third set, we're gonna drop the weight lighter and we're gonna do as many reps as we can. Then we're gonna drop the weight lighter and we're gonna do quad catches. Basically, it's just stopping at the top and catching the movement. It looks like this. You go here, catch it, holding it there for a second, then coming back down and catch it. That's what those are. So we'll first start with three sets of 10, just traditional. I'm gonna start with 160 and see how that feels. I'm honestly way more tired than I was last week. Last week, I think I did 175 for 10. So test these waters. Damn, I'm feeling so weak. It's okay, rest a Rooney. And then we'll do another one. So sweaty. Oh, but this fan though. I should just be one of those girls that has a fan necklace at all times. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do our 10 regular reps and then we're going to drop the weight lighter and then we're gonna just do as many as we can till failure fast, drop it again and do the quad catches. Let's go. <laughs> drop the weight lighter. As many reps as we can. <sighs> Drop it lighter. Quad catches. I feel crazy. Ah, uh, add that to your leg day. You'll thank me later. So this is a terrible idea. I'm having trouble walking around. <laughs> I don't know. I think it might be the carbs, but my muscles are so full because we've been doing such low calories and lower carbs that whenever I get higher carbs, it's like, my legs are so full of blood right now. Like they're hard as rocks and I'm walking around like, hello, excuse me, partner. So now to just finish it off, we're gonna do walking lunges, 20 steps in total. So when you're counting, you literally just do one, two, three. So give yourself enough space. I'm just gonna do a preloaded bar because I think that that's gonna be the easiest. 
and then we're gonna superset it with a sissy squat. So I'm gonna elevate my heels on this little thing right here, and I'm gonna hold dumbbell in the hand so that we could target the quads, and we're just gonna do as many reps as we can till failure of that, supersetting between the two, and then about two and a half to three minute rest three times. As many reps as we can with this. Heels elevated, toes forward, closer together. We're gonna go a little heavier. Take a knee, last set, best set, let's go. Should I just, should I go heavier? Yep. I should go heavier. Should I do 70 or 80? 80. You trying to kill me? All right, Ian's always making me level up, so let's do it. We started with 60 pounds, no, we started with 50. We're gonna go up to 80, 20 steps, last one AMRAP, let's do it. That was the worst, but the best. That's it for leg day, guys. That's a wrap. The workout will be in the description if I could catch my breath to do that. If you want your own training program, link in the description, join the Buff Babe Academy where thousands of women are getting stronger every day. You could be one of them. Oh my God. I don't know how I'm gonna survive the rest of this day. That was awesome. I love you all so much, and you are more powerful than you think. Bye.